What's going on guys, it's Ray here and today we're going to be breaking down and watching some of the craziest shark encounters on the internet. Now these can range from close calls with the great white all the way up to bites with other sharks. Alright, now I know this is a little bit of a different video compared to what you guys are used to seeing on my channel because I've never really done reaction or commentary videos before, but as you guys know, I've been diving with sharks for a very long time and I make a lot of videos going over shark topics, so I thought it'd be cool to show off some of the most jaw-dropping shark encounters ever caught on film while also giving you guys some background information about the sharks and why these encounters are happening. Now since I was 9 or 10 years old, I've basically spent every waking moment of my life studying Studying everything there is to know about sharks and most recently I've tried to learn as much as I can about shark behavior and shark diving what you should do when you're in the water with a shark and over the last few months I've learned a lot more than I thought I ever would about shark behavior and what you need to do to dive with sharks and that's why today's video is kind of perfect because these are all crazy shark encounters and hopefully with my newfound knowledge I can kind of break down what you should do if you ever find yourself in these scenarios and why the sharks are acting this way and as some of you out there know I'm about to go down to the Bahamas to dive with hammerheads and hopefully tiger sharks too we'll have to see and I think this is a great lead up to those videos so without further ado let's dive right on into this all right so this first video is from the channel YBS Youngbloods which is a channel that I've actually been watching for a few years now he makes some really cool content a lot of underwater stuff which I love and this one is probably one of the craziest shark encounters I've ever seen I have seen it before when it came out about a year ago or so but but it's a crazy run-in with the tiger shark. Are you kidding me? This is not the same one I saw yesterday. All right, so right now he's paddle boarding in really shallow water. He got a really big tiger shark there too, and he's going after a sea turtle right now. And this is not a situation you ever want to be in if you're out on the water. It's down underneath me. Look, the tiger's got a turtle underneath me. Oh, I mean, this is one of the craziest shark encounters of all time. And then right here, wow. Yeah, the shark comes in, knocks him off the paddle board, knocks the camera off, and I know he ends up being okay. As you can see right here, he ends up being all right. Um, but this is one of the craziest shark encounters you'll probably ever see on the internet. Uh, he's just out paddle boarding in really shallow water, and normally you wouldn't find a tiger shark uh, let alone a tiger shark of that size and water this shallow unless it was chasing some sort of food which in this circumstance it was going after its favorite food which is sea turtles and something pretty interesting about the tiger shark is actually their teeth and their jaws so m most sharks out there are going to be feasting on uh, bony fish realistically right so most sharks out there have really streamlined straight and pointy teeth which are meant to kind of grab onto a fish and kind of puncture through it so the fish can't swim away however tiger sharks are different because they like to go after things like sea turtles and normal shark teeth wouldn't really work against the sea turtle so over millions of years tiger sharks have actually adapted and evolved to have blade like teeth just like the blades you would see on a saw and they work in the exact same way because tiger sharks use those teeth not not really just just to grapple on to a food item but they use it to grind it up and saw through whatever they're chewing and in a lot of cases that is the shell of a sea turtle all right for the next video we're moving on to one of the craziest encounters ever with a great white shark and I'm sure this is the worst nightmare for a lot of you out there all right so we've got a massive white shark right there probably it's hard to tell in the video but I would say judging off the girth that it's at least 12 feet you got a spear fisherman and that's diving with great whites in open water is probably the riskiest shark diving you can, you can do oh and right there that's when it happens that is absolutely terrifying um i know a lot of you out there are afraid of sharks um and if you are and you just watch that you're probably uh squirming around in your seat a little bit there because i mean it, there's no other way to put it than utterly terrifying for most people even for shark divers you know I've never been in the water with white sharks before but even for people that have you know I've read so much and heard stories that once you get out of a cage and you're actually in open water with a great white shark it completely changes the game because you can be in open water with tiger sharks with bull sharks with hammerheads and you know it's it's gonna be okay you're relatively in a controlled environment but great whites are just such large predators and they're rarely ever in open water with people unlike other species 
and that combined is what makes you know open water diving with great whites relatively risky let's give it one more look because this is probably this is probably the most like this is probably the scariest interaction I've ever seen with a white shark. I mean, that is just terrifying to think about. Now on to video number three, we are back to tiger sharks. We have a close encounter with a tiger shark on a shark dive in Fiji, so let's check it out. So Fiji is one of the best places in the world to dive with tiger sharks. Besides the Tiger Beach in the Bahamas, it's probably the best spot. Um, the visibility isn't very good, and most of that is just because there's so many fish and remora swimming around. But um, there's a huge bait box down there, which you can see, and here comes a big tiger shark. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Wow, okay, so um, in this situation, I have seen this video before. It's been a very long time though. Um, I had to find it for this video, but yeah, there's nothing else that happens in the video. But so what we have here is a tiger shark that goes after a diver's head here on the shark dive. Yeah, this is really another terrifying encounter. Um, just to imagine yourself being the diver in the situation. You know, one minute you're just down there um, kind of watching everything that's going on. And then just a second later, you have a, probably another 12, 13 foot tiger shark right on the back of your head, which is absolutely terrifying to think about. But basically in this encounter, there's two different situations going on, two different factors. And the first one, which I touched on at the beginning of the video is the visibility. The visibility isn't the best, you know, the water by itself looks decent enough for a shark dive, but the fact that you have hundreds, if not thousands of fish swimming around, a ton of remoras flying around everywhere, that not only makes it tough, on the diver, but it also makes it more difficult on the sharks, right? Because the sharks are trying to navigate through the environment. They're looking for food. They can smell the food. There's a big chum box down there. And you know, all this just kind of makes it more chaotic and harder for the shark to maneuver around. But second, and probably the reason that the shark decided to go in for a little test bite um, is because it was behind the diver. So whenever you start to study sharks and shark attacks more specifically, you know that sharks will rarely ever come up and try to bump you if you're facing them. Um, if you ever turn your back to a shark, that's when it gets really risky. And the, kind of the same way um, you hear about bear attacks, you never want to turn around to a bear and start going in the other direction or even just show it your backside. And in this situation, there's nothing that the diver did wrong. It's just the fact that the tiger shark came in from the backside um, and took a little test bite out of the diver. All right, so for our fourth clip of the video, we have what's probably the scariest clip that I'm gonna showcase today. Um, basically, we have a spear fisherman here off the coast of Australia diving, and he has a pretty scary run-in with what looks to be a gray reef shark. So whenever you're spear fishing like this, um, you, you always play the risk of running into sharks. But I'll touch on that in a second. You have a really spastic gray reef shark here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty terrifying as well. So um, we'll look at this a few times right here. So he's diving down and automatically this, this shark is really spastic in its movements, obviously threatened. And then if you notice, right there, the uh, the diver makes a little bit of a, of a mistake. So um, I don't know, there's no telling if the shark was actually gonna go in for a bite like this, um, if the spear fisherman had never done this. But if you watch the video again, right here you can see, so the shark's coming in, it's circling, and then right there, he goes with a little jab to kind of try to get the shark away, which is probably what most people would do in this situation. But the shark was already threatened and very agitated, and that kind of set it off. And you can tell by the way the shark comes in and bites. You know, it's not biting him like he's a potential food source. It's biting him as a reactionary defense because uh, the spear fisherman poked at him, the shark didn't like it and he made the spear fisherman pay. All right, now we're on to video number five, and I apologize for this one. The video quality isn't the best because it's a little bit of an older video. I remember I first saw this clip on Shark Week a couple years back, 
um, but let's dive right in, into it. So uh, I don't know where these divers are at. I would guess Cat Island in the Bahamas because that's an oceanic white tip shark right there, which there are very few spots on earth that you can dive with an oceanic white tip. And they're one of my, they're one of the most fascinating species out there. One of my favorites, which I can dive into in a little bit. But as you can see, the shark right here starts to show some aggressive displays, some very close passes to this diver right here who's gotten himself kind of separated from his dive buddy. And shark kind of swims away there. Interested in this guy and then and then goes right in and oh Yeah, that's that's worse than the last video we just watched. That is a very aggressive attack by an oceanic white tip. Um, so uh, we'll go back in the video here. I'm trying to look to see if there's anything that the divers did to agitate the, sh the shark, but I, you know, I don't see anything that they did, uh, any behaviors that would have set the shark off. When a shark is hungry, um, it, its mood completely changes. Usually, sharks kind of like to stay back a little more um, and only come in if they're curious, not if they're hungry. But this shark looks like maybe it could have been deprived of food for for an extended period of time and got desperate and was coming in to check out some of these divers. But other than that, I don't I don't see why the shark would come in and attack like that. Now, oceanic white tips are incredibly fascinating. They are a pelagic shark, meaning they live in deep water. Um, they're very rarely seen. Uh, I believe I, I believe they're still an endangered species. Um, they might have gotten uh, moved up to threatened status. But basically, oceanic white tips, if you've ever watched the movie Jaws and you've heard of the attack on the USS Indianapolis, it's believed that those hundreds of people that um, died because of shark attacks, the main culprit of those attacks was the oceanic white tip. Lost a hundred men. I don't know how many sharks, maybe a thousand. I don't know how many men, they average six an hour. Yeah, they're a very fascinating shark. Um, they're notorious for picking off shipwreck survivors and uh, people stranded out at sea. But yeah, this is a crazy run-in with a really fascinating shark species. All right, guys, so that does wrap up all of our videos today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this segment. I know I love getting to check out all these crazy shark encounters, and hopefully a lot of you out there haven't already seen these, so this was your first time watching, and hopefully I was able to give you some good information about sharks. Now make sure to let me know in the comment section down below which shark encounter in this video was the craziest to you, and if you've ever dove with sharks. But that is going to wrap up today's video, but before you go, make sure to smash that like button, and most importantly, subscribe, with notifications turned on so you never miss out on awesome videos just like this one. I'm Ray Tiller and I'll see you on the next video.